In 93, the civil lawsuit filed by the Jordan Chandler family and the police report, that was simultaneous. Once Michael Jackson had settled that civil lawsuit, the reasons being not because he wanted to hush the Chandler family, the reasons are actually quite incredible. I can't speak for Michael, but I know one thing. Michael is not guilty. I've talked to him before, and I think he'll be fine because he has nothing to Michael's be uh, shamed of. He's strong. So he's very strong. He'll just come out. A judge ruled that the civil lawsuit would be heard first because it was a minor, I think he ruled that, okay, we're gonna have to hear this within 120 days from this day. Michael's lawyers were like, hey, we want the criminal trial first because the civil lawsuit, that could really prejudice a criminal trial. Why? Because if we have a court hearing between the Chandlers and Michael's defense in a civil lawsuit, the Chandlers and their attorneys will know what Michael's defense is going to be. That's massively prejudicial for any criminal trial. you wouldn't get a fair criminal trial because you've had this civil thing going on before. The important one was the criminal one because you could end up in jail. The civil one, it's just about money. But if you're hearing the civil one first and that could help get you in jail, Michael's team was like, the only option we've got because the judge ruled the civil one is going to be heard first is to get rid of it. How do you get rid of it? You have to settle. That made Michael look guilty. What is he hiding? Why is he paying off this family? If this really went on, do you think a father would accept money, that that would make it OK, that that would make everything all right? I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't make any sense. I know that if that were my son, I'm sorry. I don't care if you gave me a billion dollars. I want to see you either behind bars or dead for the rest of your life for doing that to my son or my daughter. It, it's crazy. The guy was after money is what he wanted. I totally disagreed with him doing that. He, sh he should not give him anything. But if there had been any criminal activity, you can't pay off the, 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 the cops or the, 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 the legal system. They will go after you because they want to, you can't just say, hey, I'll, I'll pay the fine. Because it didn't work like that. Because if they had pursued it through the criminal courts, they didn't. We have concluded that because the young boy who was, who was the catalyst for this investigation has recently informed us that he does not wish to participate in any criminal proceeding where he is named as a victim, that we must decline prosecution involving Mr. Jackson. People don't know the ins and outs of why he was forced to make that settlement. He didn't want to, he wanted to fight them both. So that was 93 gone. I think he got over that quite quickly and just pushed that one aside. The second time with the Arviso case, now that was around 2003. At that time, I'd seen, seen quite a lot of Michael and going backwards and forwards to the States, spending a lot of time at Neverland. And I was at Neverland for a great deal of the time when the Arviso family were there. And they were awful. When we heard, uh that police were at Neverland. Me and Mark spoke and we knew exactly we we're talking to Gavin Avizo and this family. An hour before it was even we've been told, or the media had even announced that we knew because they were just causing havoc. Basically the boy was recovering from cancer and Michael had said to him in the hospital, look, if you ever want to come to Neverland, you know, be my guest, come. And of course the mother had overheard this and thought, right, yeah, we're going. Okay, so they turn up at Neverland and it was just initially the boy and his mom, they were made to feel very welcome and, and put up in one of the guest lodges. But they stayed for like three months. And then all of a sudden, all these cousins appeared. And at one time, there was like 15 of these like kids and they were running riot around Neverland. Anyone could clearly see that they were taking advantage of Michael because he had such a big heart and he wanted people to come to Neverland. He wanted them to have this amazing experience. And I think it's quite sad that people must portray that as if you're being kind, you must be preying on people. There must be something sinister behind it when all he wanted to do was just make people happy. They were just like hooligans. And then it came to a time 
when they were asked to leave. The next day is when I think the mother turned really nasty and then made all these allegations about Michael. Years ago, I allowed a family to visit and spend some time at Neverland. Neverland is my home. I allowed this family into my home because they told me their son was ill with cancer and needed my help. Through the years, I have helped thousands of children who are ill or in distress. These events have caused a nightmare for my family, my children, and me. I never intend to place myself in so vulnerable a position ever again. The service of the warrants was part of an ongoing investigation alleging criminal misconduct on the part of Michael Jackson. The basis for this investigation regarding Mr. Jackson involves allegations of child molestation, 288A of the California Penal Code. Additionally, an arrest warrant for Mr. Jackson has been issued on multiple counts of child molestation. The bail amount on the warrant has been set at $3 million. At this point in time, Mr. Jackson's been given an opportunity to surrender himself to the custody of the Santa Barbara Sheriff's Department within a specified period of time. We are currently working with Mr. Jackson's legal representation on this matter. Sham of a trial, again, about money, because um, Arvizo's mum first went to a civil lawyer to try and get a settlement of some sort. But the civil lawyer said, you need a conviction first. And that's the only reason why there was a criminal trial first. This case is about one thing only. It's about the dignity, the integrity, the decency, the honor, the charity, the innocence, and the complete vindication of a wonderful human being named Michael Jackson. I would like to thank the fans around the world I would like to thank the fans around the world for your love and your support from every corner of the earth. My family has been very supportive. My brother Randy, who's been incredible. I want to thank the community of Santa Maria. I, I want you to know that I, I love the community of Santa Maria very much. It's my community. I love the people. I will always love the people. My children were born in this community. My home is in this community. I will always love this community from the bottom of my heart. That's why I moved here. Thank you very much. The first thing wasn't going to the police saying this is what happened. The first step was civil lawyer, money. But the media wanted that crash, bang. You know, the guy who's come from nothing and then you see him in the handcuffs. The money would have been in the, if he was found guilty for the media, that would have been there. And the media outside was just unbelievable. You've never seen anything like it. In America, the coverage of the trial was abhorrent. Certain things would be said in court, and then a completely different thing would be reported in the media. Um, just no wonder that, you know, non-fans, members of the public were outraged that Michael Jackson was found not guilty because they'd read this coverage of Michael for five months thinking that this was the coverage in the court when it wasn't. The recent publicity about these settlements is unfair and damaging to him, his family, and his dedication to the world's children. The charges he faces are false and will be battled in a court of law within our justice system. He is innocent and will be vindicated. It was a disgrace. The media was parading around this narrative that Michael Jackson was guilty. How can a jury find him not guilty given what's happened in that courtroom? But it, that wasn't the case. In fact, what was heard in the courtroom was highly in Michael's favor. After the prosecution case was put forward, the defense were thinking, are we even gonna bother here? Because the jury was ready to declare Michael Jackson not guilty after the prosecution case. But the defense decided, you know, we're gonna hammer the nail in the coffin of, of all of this. The only people that really mattered were 12 jurors and one judge, 13 people. The rest were just uh, extraneous as far as, uh, as far as we were concerned. You had to drown out the media. They were just a distraction. They had their own agenda, which was ratings and revenue, not justice. And you had to just focus on the evidence, focus on the courtroom, and uh, stay away from them. I think Michael is one of those rare clients where lawyers really don't have to prep a lot. Um, you don't even have to coach him in terms of how he should behave in the courtroom. He was just so well behaved naturally without even having to uh, tell him to do anything other than just be himself. How he survived two years where you're 
possibly going to live the rest of your life behind bars. I don't know, I would have taken a gun and shot myself. But he was very strong and he was someone who knew he had done nothing wrong and he just believed in his conviction, so I handed it to him. But it was tough. The image and persona that the tabloid press saw of Michael was not, not the man. Uh, that uh, not the, the true Michael Jackson. And I think because he was different, he didn't conform to the norm, people didn't like that. There was this, this kind of witch hunt about getting this man because he just didn't conform to how they wanted him to. In the UK, there seemed to be this top-down agreement since the late 80s that Michael Jackson was to be smeared. Reporters would be told, all we're going to report on is negative Michael Jackson stories because it sells papers. So the Red Tops, they all agreed on that. You still see that today. So that's a 30-year thing in the UK. Wacko Jacko, all the newspapers. And now again, two accusers, 2013, going to a civil lawyer and saying, I want to sue Michael Jackson's estate. 